a long, long time ago. Hey everyone, my name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. This song, American Pie by Don McLean, starts out on the piano. But since this is Quail Studios Guitar, I'm going to show you entirely on the guitar. So I'm going to grab my guitar and we'll get right to it. First, we'll do the chords. First chord is a G chord, just like that. The next chord is a D chord. And if you can't do the F sharp bass like that, just play a regular D because it goes a long, long time ago. So the, the second chord is a D chord with an F sharp bass like that. I like to do it like this. I go a long, long time ago. E minor is the next chord. So I play the G, I slide that finger back, and then I put my little finger there on the D chord. This finger goes up here on the F sharp. I mute the A string with this finger, and then E minor. A minor. I can still remember C. E minor. How that music used to make me smile. Then we get a real D chord. And then it goes over again. G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor. That I could make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. So we're using the same chords. Uh, we'll talk about this as we get into the actual song. Now the next thing we do, let's see. Oh. Um, February, maybe, shiver. Yep, E minor, A minor, we did those already. Oh, C. The next one, when I go, bad news on the doorstep. C. You can play with C with the B bass, like that. That works really good on guitar. Or you can do a G with a B bass, because that works good too. When I play it on the piano, I actually play the G with the B bass there. Bad news on the doorstep. Or it could be bad news on the doorstep. Works really good on guitar. I couldn't take one more step. And I think those are all the chords that we have in the whole thing. So let's get right to the song. A long, long time ago. G going to a D with an F sharp bass, E minor. Now this is what we call free form. The chords are not random, but really what's happening is that there's no beat. There's no, you know, drum playing a long, long time ago, like that. So we just strum every chord, a long, long D with an F sharp bass, time ago, E minor, A minor. I can still remember, see, how that music, E minor, used to make me smile. Now, we do something very iconic in this song that many people did back in the 60s, late 60s and 70s. Okay, and they even do that on the piano. Let's talk about this now. So, what we do is we take this D chord, and I forgot to do this in the chord. We got a D sus4. I play the D like this when I'm playing the D. D sus4. Back to D, D sus2. You just let go of that finger so that your E string is open. Okay, we'll talk about the strumming in just a little bit, how to do that. And I knew if I had my chance. So we got a G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor. That I could make A minor. Those people dance, C, and maybe. Minor, and they'd be happy, see, for a while. I'm going to do that again. That D, D sus4, D, D add 2, back to D, E minor, February made, oops, A minor, February made me shiver, every paper I same thing twice. E minor to A minor, E minor to A minor, C. Bad news on the doorstep. 
So C, C with the B bass, A minor, C, I couldn't take one more step, D, I can't remember There are four lines that actually start out like this, and this is the third one. G, D with an F sharp, bass, E minor. When I read about his C, with a D, something touched me deep inside. Same thing. G, D with an F sharp, bass, E minor. The D. stops on a G. So bye bye. Now we start to actually strum the guitar. So bye bye. Let's see, let's uh, zoom out a little bit and focus in on that right hand and, uh, and show you exactly what I'm doing there. One, two, three. So bye. So right there, that's when we actually start the rhythm of the song. So this chorus is really kind of laid back, but it's got kind of a strum to it. I like to hit that D chord on an upstroke. So So on the pie. chords, a lot of them have four beats in them. And if you want to get my lead sheet book, my music and lead sheets book, go over to Subscribestar or Patreon or any size donation on PayPal and I will send it to you through my email, lessonswithhal at gmail.com. You can get in touch with me there. And then you can have this in front of you and um, then we can go along and you can figure out what to do with this because I'm not, I might not tell you every single chord that's going on here. So um, I would suggest that you do that, that you get that book. And I'm not asking for $50 for it. It's actually 188 pages right now. It's got um, 50, over 50 songs in it, and it's got uh, theory in the back. So anyway, help support me. Do that, please. Let's see. Okay. Did you? Okay, that's really iconic. So we got that down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. C, A minor, D e minor, down, down, up, 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 up. Okay, so down, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's see if I can explain that a little bit better. You'll notice that as I hit that, I do it on an upstroke. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, now do you believe in rock and roll and music? Save your mortal soul and can you teach me how to dance? Minor, dance and D in the gym. C, C with 
bass, A minor. Man, I dig those rhythm and blues. I was alone with tears. With a pink carnation and a pink out truck. G, feel an F sharp bass, E minor, oh look. Right there, the first time we did this, we just played a G chord, but now we go G, C, G, D, Fa. go on again to the next verse. Let's see if I can explain that. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And this will be the day that I die. So I go back into the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Four beats strum. A chord. Oh, I didn't talk about the A chord. That's what I was missing because we don't do the A chord in that first part. Um, we do it in the chorus, right? So let's go back to the. Uh, let's go back to that. Explain that A chord really, really quick. So, got to have an A chord in the chorus. This will be the day that I die. I do it with one finger. You can do it with three fingers, like this, or like this, or like this. I prefer one. And when I'm doing that, this will be the day that I die. I like to do a A sus4, back to A. This will be the day that I die. Just really quick. And the way I do that right hand work in that is uh, I go like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That's what I do. This will be the day that I die. So, you know when we're doing that strum, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. That's when I do the sus4, and then when I hit the up again, I let go of it. So it's an A, A sus4, A. This will be the day that I one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let me count that again. I'll do it slower. This will be the day that I die. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and for ten years I've been on the road and must go fat on a rolling stone. That's not how it used to be. Let's take a pause here just for a second because what I wanted to do is talk just a little bit about the different verses. As I was editing this video, I realized, you know, uh, there are six verses here, and verse 1 and verse 6 are similar. But verses 2, 3, and 4, and 5, they are uh, different than verses 1 and 6. And so I was trying to explain earlier when I was recording this video and as I was editing it, it's like, you know what, this is more complicated than I realized. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put a link in the description to the lead sheet that I have, that I use when I perform and when I work on this song. I'm also going to put a chord comparison chart because verses one through six do that chord progression, the G, D with an F sharp bass to E minor, um, but the verses two through five, they do at the beginning of the verse. G to A minor, C to A minor, E minor to D, but verses one through six go G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor, A minor, C, E minor, D. So it's just a little different. <laughs> For you to be clear on this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the description. You'll find it below. You can click on it, it will take you to these lead sheets and you can look at them, you can download them, whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, shall we go on? <laughs> um, let's go on because uh, the next thing I'm going to do is explain verse 6, which is 
a lot like verse 1. Met a girl who sang the blues and asked her for some happy news. This verse is another freeform verse. I mean, there's no like definite beat that you have to stick to. So it's the same as the first verse, basically. And you go all the way through it, and then you do a really slow. They were singing Go through that. This will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. So we do this chorus at the end, and what happens is that the uh, You've got a whole bunch of people singing in unison, right? But the last line. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, this will be the day that I die. Instead of doing the E minor, this will be the day that I die, this will be the day that I die, which goes to a D, which leads us back into the G chord, because this is a dominant, a D chord going to a G. Um, them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye. And then we do what we call a cadence. Singing, this will be C, four chord. It will be the day, the dominant, or the five chord, that I die to a G, which is a one. And then we do G, C, G, which is actually called an amen cadence, an amen cadence, or a plagal cadence. You could do a G chord like this to a C, back to a G, or you could do, or you could do this cool thing and go G like this, and then do, do your C with the G bass, back to G, and that'd be cool too. Okay, G, C with the G bass, and you would keep that G note, and that's good. Okay, everybody, I'm done with that. Um, thanks for being here. I appreciate you very much. Remember, go to subscribe, blah, blah, subscribe star page, a Patreon page, and you can get in touch with me through lessonswithal at gmail.com. And a donation of any size at PayPal will give you my book. And this song is in that book. Talk to you later. This will be the day that I die. Not really. <laughs>